working on a project for myself today. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to get done all winter. I've got bearings out in the auger up here in the header. So, uh, need to get that done because the alfalfa is starting to get mature and it needs to be cut. I'll show you exactly what's going on here. So, the shop is filled up with the swather. And here in the header part of it is this auger that takes the material to the center, runs it through some crimpers, and puts it in a nice little windrow. But down in here, there are some bearings, which are back behind this plate. Uh, that I got to get to because they're out. So that's what I'm working on. I honestly don't know how to disassemble all that. Never been into that before. So this is going to be a learning experience. And I'm getting kind of a late start on it this morning because I'm in slow gear. It's Tuesday after Memorial Weekend. And uh, spent the whole weekend over at the pond, at my pond, hanging out. It was wonderful. So, you know how it is when you come back from vacation, you're kind of like, dragging. <laughs> uh, that's how I'm feeling this morning. First thing I'm going to do is get the chain hoist over here and tie it onto the auger. If I put my lifting straps opposite direction of the flighting. That should work, I hope. You can't go around the flighting this way, or around the auger this way, because you'll be crossing the flighting on the bottom side. Hope that makes sense. Header came up a little bit. So now that that side is under tension, and this side is under tension, I can show you that the bearing is out. In that hole, there's a bearing. I can see it from here. Uh, so I need to reach in there and pull them out too? Hmm. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But I'm going to take this plate off out here first. So I think that will give me some answers, hopefully. <laughs> I sprayed penetrating oil on it before the weekend. Really doused it good, so hopefully that made a difference. Oh, hey, that came loose. That's a good sign. There we go. Well, I've got it out the distance of this chisel, but I am going to switch to one of these little wedges, see if that'll get me a little better. Even faster to cut this collar off at this point. Ah. Build a new one later.
supposed to be stuck to that plate. I'll let you know when I figure out something. Not much to see. I was able to reach up into there, into that hole, and get the bolts off this flange and get that out of there. And it gave me just enough room to get this plate down past this bolt here. Uh, so I'm going to heat this up and see if I can't get that plate off of there. I really thought the sauger had to come out to do this operation. I've never done one of these before. I had no idea how it came apart. So uh, yeah, it's actually pretty simple as long as stuff actually comes apart. I am going to go to town and see if I can find bearings. I don't know what size this is, so I need to measure that. I'll be back eventually. I yeah, made the trip to town. Got a couple bearings. They're actually pretty cheap. They're only 11 bucks each. Um, he only had two, so that means I'm not going to touch the other side of the auger right now. I'm just going to fix this side up and get on with life. <laughs> um, I was also thinking yesterday that if I just drilled two holes beside this bushing and this plate, um, a person could put bolts in there and then put a puller on that. So I'm going to drill two holes in that and also clean up that bushing so it slides in again. And then I'm also going to clean up the shaft so the bearings slide on real easy. And I think we'll start reassembling all that. And then at the very end I'll make a new one of these who's doodles. I'm also going to try to put something on it to where I can hook a puller onto it as well. Ugh. See your right side. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up in there. Yay! A little bit of glare everywhere, but just getting to be that time of day when once I close the windows, it's hard to see. But anyway, enough rambling. This one is halfway easy, so I can just put the bearing on, uh, line it up in there. And then I can reach into the uh, Access hatch from on top, reach my hands down here and put the nut on. Not that difficult. Da, da. Oh. And then figure out where my holes need to be so I could get a puller on there if I ever needed to. I'm not sure on that. the keyway but it looks like the keyway was on this side back here um, so I'll mark that matter of fact I probably need to bring that around right now if I can 
get it oriented in the right position. Okay. Now the reason this has to be oriented correctly is there's supposed to be what they call pickup fingers out there in the middle of that auger. They come out of the auger when it goes around and pull the material through and then before it gets to the back of the header the fingers actually come back out. It's a, But they have fallen out. We haven't repaired it. Um, it's working but I can tell it's reduced performance. But anyway, I need to make sure this is oriented in case we ever get those repaired. Then this will be in the correct position because that's turning the shaft is what uh, clocks when those fingers come out and when they retract. Because I got to do that at the right time so they don't hit the housing all around the back of that auger and everything. Okay, that's where I want that. Um, so now I'm just simply going to cut this off. And looks like right past the weld. Weld it on. And then I'll put in the keyway. I do the keyway last thing. That way, you know, the heat from welding and stuff hopefully won't affect as much. Well, it's on there. It's actually pretty nice. There's a little bit of gap up there in that keyway. I don't know if you can see it right in here on the top. That brooch took out a little bit more than it should have, but it's not very much. I'm sure it's acceptable. Uh, otherwise, it fits on there really good. It's There's no play in it whatsoever. It is tight. I like it. <sighs> okay, well, I need to take this piece back off of there. I need to hoist the auger into the correct position and then put in these bolts. Now let's see if I can lock this down. Maybe. Now let's see if I can do anything with this one up here. Pronounce it together, whether it is or not. <laughs> okay, I am. I need to look over the swather. I think I've got to put some Freon in the air conditioning system. I need to add some oil to the hydrostat system because it's got some leaks. And. I'll check engine oil, do a lot of fun stuff, grease the machine, oil the machine, and then we'll take her out for a spin.